What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris. With me, as always, are my buddies, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's going on? What's up, guys? We're talking The Leftovers, Season 3, Episode 5. It's a Matt, yes. Matt, Matt, Matt world. Yep. Uh, definitely playing off that old, it's a Mad, 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 Mad world. If you guys remember that. Uh, yeah, so this is a pretty Matt-centric episode, wasn't it? Absolutely, and we've been getting a lot. We've been getting a lot of those. Yeah, uh, well, not Matt centric. This is the first one this season. No, well, I you mean, mean character centric. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, Matt's a really strong character, you know. And again, like we really haven't seen him that much. And not, no, that's not exactly true. But we haven't had a real focus on him yet. Uh, but uh, Mikey, why don't you let us know before we jump into anything what uh, what they what they people think this shows what this episode people, was what, what the synopsis maybe yeah. Um, well, it says convinced it's Kevin's destiny to be in Miracle for the coming seventh anniversary of the departure. Matt Jameson impulsively heads to Australia in an effort to bring Kevin home. Right. But- yes. Before we begin, I want to mention something that I noticed going over the IMDb. Yeah. There is a guy credited as vigorous hand job guy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, hey, that guy's important, man. Everybody needs a handy every once yep. in a while. <laughs> yeah, that was that. At, Apparently. At, yeah, at one point, they walk by, Matt goes to leave, and it just pans over, and there's a dude giving another dude a fucking handy. Uh, but I think it's funny that he gets credited because he didn't really speak. I thought they only credited speaking roles. but Not just hand job guy, vigorous hand vigorous job Vigorous hand job. It was pretty hey. vigorous, if you recall. Um, before we get into any more hand job talk, why don't we just, uh, you know, in a re- related topic... How about yeah. uh, the uh, the explosion? nuclear dong, the nuclear <laughs> dong explosion? Hamzilla, uh, Hamz- nuclear yeah. dong marine. So, well, it's the answer to to the end of the previous episode, right? Where the explosion came from and why all the planes are grounded is because this um, this soldier uh, they He's were on, on a submarine, sub, right? Yeah, they were on a sub, and this guy, you know, we have no idea why or what, how or whatever, yeah. but. He makes his way into the control room, you know, to uh, launch this missile. To launch this missile. Why we don't know. Is it some? Is it like a, a some type of sect that thinks the end of the world is coming, or <laughs> helping it about? Who, who knows? There's, there's a lot, a lot of unanswered. But you know what? I think that we don't need to know those answers. You know. Uh, no, not necessarily. I wonder where it hit, though. That's I, the question. Didn't it? It, I think it just blew itself it up. Just, it just, yeah. Well, you saw the rocket launch. We didn't see in the, we didn't see the I actual. I think it hit the water. Out. It said it in the in the Pacific, right? It said in the, yeah, like South Pacific, South Pacific, Pacific or something. I think it yeah. hit the water. Okay. I think I don't think it. It, it didn't say because it, it didn't say that it hit. It, it made landfall or you know billions dead. It didn't say anything like that. It just said yeah. it did that. Um, but of course that's the undertone of 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 what. What's it wasn't too on? far off land, though, that they couldn't film it because there was a mushroom right, cloud. Right, right, right. So that's true. Would you get a mushroom cloud from water like that? Absolutely. If it yeah, landed course. right in the Listen, water. What happens when you take a high dive? Uh, you know, dive off a, a high no, diving board. You yeah, you I hit guess. that like it's I mean, concrete, man. Like that becomes a. But we did see the big mushroom cloud of fire. So well, I'm assuming... you got to think though that uh, it's an atom bomb. So, and usually those detonate before bomb, they hit the so. ground. Those bombs don't detonate. They don't get to. They don't hit ground. It's not like a regular bomb. They detonate over ground. That's what. Not that's... just that. They can vaporize water instantly. Exactly. Yeah. So. So anyway. Well, regardless, we got our answer. Point right? is, yeah, we yeah. got that answer. Um, and uh, we we see the aftermath of that or, or the goings on of that as Matt as we f- pick up with Matt trying to charter a plane to Melbourne to go get Kevin. Yes. So, Gets one of his parishioners, gives him twenty thousand dollars. Says, "Come on, we got a plane already. You know that the plane's filled with relief supplies for some other country. I don't remember." Um, so there. So obviously, he just wanted to take his two disciples, uh, John and Michael, uh, yeah. father and son. And Lori shows up. And did you guys think Lori had a right to be there? Not really. Really? Yeah, not real. I think she. I just think that Lori. Lori feels like she needs to be there because she legitimately thinks that Kevin's sick, and she doesn't believe. Um, just like Nora doesn't believe who Kevin is or what Kevin is, because, you know, if you forget, um, John, Michael, look at what they did. John shot 
Kevin in the chest and he came back and he survived. Uh, mm-hmm. Michael buried him and he and and Kevin crawled out of out of the dirt. Mm-hmm. John, uh, Matt's making this set Bible 2.0. So these guys legitimately believe that there's something to Kevin. Right. And Lori even says it. You guys really think that you know he is what he is. She believes that he's he's um, going crazy still. Yeah. You know. So I just think that she's trying to be there for like um, maybe like a backbone for Kevin because didn't she say um, to she Matt? She thinks he's ill. She thinks he's well, ill yeah, and he needs help. He, remember, he called me. She told him. Right. So she he she yeah. he needs help to her. He's he's yeah. delusional. Yeah. Um, at one point, she's like, I was married to him for 15 years. She's yeah. like, you know. He's not, you know, this and that. Yeah, he's, she's, yeah, you know, she, she has that cool little speech where she's like, he shit for, he shits four times a day and he, <laughs> he, he has a tattoo on his, on his fucking body that's misspelled, you know, like, it's like, yeah. he'd go through all the cabinets until he found the wine glasses finally. Yeah, you yeah. know, like, he's, he's not a fucking messiah. Like, there's not, he's just some dumbass, you know what I mean? That I'm not yeah. married to anymore. Like, but I mean, I mean, well, regardless, some... I mean, you know, she 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 makes her way and and they get there. Uh, well, they get to they assume that they would get to Melbourne, right? No, they get grounded in Tasmania and they have to take a a ferry over. But the ferry is chartered by this group who worship <laughs> a tiger. Um, uh, why do I keep saying Maurice? It's not Maurice. Frazier. It's Frazier. Yeah, Frazier. It's, a, it's a, you know, but that was a pretty interesting story too. Um, the lion story, like why, why they worship him, but it, it's a, it's a, it's an orgy party boat. And, you know, so Matt, Matt gets on there. He gets them on there. We're not going to go into in details about that, but he meets a man on there who they say is God, right? Yes. Yeah. And, I they mean... say he's Yahweh. He's God. <laughs> And, yeah. he, you know, he's a friend of the captains. And look, there's no need to go over a lot of the stuff that happened because a lot no. of it was, you know, the major the major points were basically how Matt decides like this man. It, this man is a is a is is a false prophet. He's a man. This is this isn't God. You know, he, he confronts him. The man hands him a card. The captain explains that the man basically came back to life from a from a climbing accident he died came back to life now he says he's god and he has these cards that he hands out so people his, yeah. it's his faq his frequently yeah. asked questions right and so. and matt matt watches him throw a man overboard which for what purpose for what reason was was that was that person that um that so the supposed god uh, threw off was it because um he was confronting him just as Matt was uh, right. Matt. Matt was trying to. That's what I kind of got from that because you know they didn't really give us too much about that and and obviously during this sex capade thing, Matt was the only one that that saw him and was trying to um, to rescue him by jumping off the fucking boat himself. Yeah. And you know, luckily for Matt, he was saved, but um, there was a body of this man. Obviously, we'll find uh, out that at was, the that end. Was there was found. Yeah, the body was found. Yeah. So so. Um... Uh, well, I mean, we'll get to his his demise at the, in, in a minute, I guess. But you know, I I don't I don't. What do you guys think was the whole? Per- Obviously, what happened was so Matt confronts him. Matt finds a way to get him in front of him and talk to him. It's essentially hitting him in the head with an axe and and tying yeah. him down to a wheelchair, which was pretty pretty awesome of him, by the way. <laughs> and I honestly didn't expect him to hit him with the axe handle. <laughs> no, no, that was pretty either. good. But he, so he confronts him, and this man. I mean, I'm not gonna lie; it was pretty convincing. And I'm sitting here going, "Wait, is this guy real? Wait, what? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on." Because, I mean, Kevin came back to life. Why couldn't someone else? You know, and and early on, they're having a conversation inside. You know, inside one of the lounges, uh, John and and Matt are having a conversation where he's like, "You know, Kevin, Kevin came back to life," and he's like, "And my wife, she woke up, and I, and we had a child," and he's like. And all these things happen. He's like, yeah, but also my wife left me and my daughter died. John's yeah. saying he's like, so you know, because he's he, he's saying we have he, what's good Kevin, for some. Kevin might not has be to be back the in there. He's like, yeah. it has to be back in miracle. And he's like, yeah. why? He doesn't. He's like, whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen here. Where yeah, John says uh, specifically, you know, we're not in control of this. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I think John had said we're not gonna get 
Kevin, even if we get Kevin right away, once we reach uh, get into Melbourne, we're not going to have enough back. time to even get back. Yeah, we're yeah, not getting so, back. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's 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 interesting because um, with going back with this supposed God and um, you know you were saying Chris that you're not sure or we weren't sure. I wasn't sure either because there was a big after after the speech after. Um, they were had their back and forth, and Matt was asking these these questions. What about, you know, um, what about Jesus and how was you know he was yeah, resurrected? That was actually and, pretty cool. And yeah. he had a response to every kind of anything, any question that that Matt was throwing out to him. And from the beginning of their the confrontation, um, how can you get out of this? If you're a god, how get out of this chair? You know what I mean? Turn the ropes into snakes. Yeah, turn and the all ropes that. into snakes. And and by the end. Um, Kevin, um, Kevin, Matt, Matt cut him out of this. So I definitely think that Matt was overwhelmed, um, maybe not necessarily convinced of who he was, but it was enough for him to free this man. Yeah, but see, you know I, mean? I don't, I mean, I don't know about you, Jess, but I, I don't think he was convinced at all. I, no. At first it seemed like that, but he let him go because he realized I have no reason to hold him here. Like this exactly. guy, this guy isn't, uh, I don't Matt, know. Matt Lever, think about it. I mean, obviously, you can if you disagree, that's fine. But I, 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 and I think Jesse agrees with me. Matt was not swayed at all. Matt wasn't swayed. Matt, you're no. not going to sway someone when that who who's devoted their whole life to that. Not only that, who is writing a book about a man that he knows personally to be a messiah figure. This is just a man who he heard a story about who punched him in the stomach and he saw him, he saw him throw the man overboard. Those are red flags to him. He's like, this guy is, well, this it was, isn't it God, was, you know? It was, it was blasphemy, he used that word, because he felt, obviously, just like you said, that Kevin is the Messiah. Kevin is, you know, Jesus 2.0. Um, and obviously, I mean, it could be, like you said, it could be that he wasn't convinced, but then regardless... He felt like there's no nothing else he can get from this guy because he there's already no other, said he already said yeah, that he's gonna you know they, yeah so I can see that but I don't know by the look on Matt's face it was almost like he was on bended knee you know he was he looked like the words that were coming out of this man's mouth were compelling enough for whatever reason so if he doesn't believe or he does I think it's kind of up to us as the viewer but. Um, you know, in the end, it doesn't matter anyway. Well, okay, but let me ask you this though: you're, you're saying that you think he was, but in the end, he kind of proves that he wasn't. Actually, there know, is another think, option. I, yeah, What's I, the don't, other I, option? Don't, I don't know. So he could have believed the guy's words, but not as him being God. He could, because at the end there, he says, "I'm dying," and it's very like accepting that he's dying. So he could have just, you know, given up. Said, "You know what? He's not worth my time." And he does have a point here. I have been selfish, and that's why you know my leukemia is back. I think I think that's what it was, man. I think I think what that man showed Matt was let go, let, just like mm-hmm. John said, uh, um, and Michael, just like Michael was telling him. He's like, yeah, but just let that go and tell her, like, you know what I mean. And and I think he realized that because when that man he saw he saw a sham in front of him, and he Matt, you have to understand, Matt believes he knows what the true word voice plan of God is everything to him is a test, test, test. I got sick because it was a test of this because of the test. And yes, this man was saying things that Matt would want to hear, but I'm telling you, Matt, Matt wasn't swayed. And like I said, like you said, Jess, I think it was a very profound in, 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 um, disrobing this figure as God, Matt realized, like you said, Jess, to just, it's okay to let go and to, you know, and I, and, and, and I don't know, I don't know if you guys feel like he was giving up. I don't think so. Um, but he did, he did tell the man, he's like, do you, you know, do you have someplace when when the captain came over and said, listen, we, they found the body. We're going to, you know, Breton was his name. I think something, uh, David Burton, Burton. He's yeah. like, you know, we're going to we're going to apprehend Burton when we land, when we dock and, and they're going to take him in. If you can come down, if you don't have anything to do. And he's yeah. like, he's like, no, I don't. Now, you know, obviously before we saw the ending, I was like, okay, so, so obviously he was changed with that encounter, but I didn't exactly know how. 
Um, yeah. I don't think he's done. I think I think it gave him a new the guy being eaten by the lion kind of swayed him back to Kevin after that. May okay. I, maybe. I don't know why, but I, I think it did. Because why would why would why would God be eaten by a lion? Exactly. Well, why Karma. would why would out of all those people the lion just grabbed him? Well, uh, well, that I mean that's a practical thing only because he ran directly in front of the the lion. He was the yeah. only one. The lion was, was not really. He was he jumped the fence when the cops were trying yo, to pursue him. Yeah, no, him, dude, that was and it. The though. lion went after him. No, no, no. You didn't you didn't pay attention because he hopped the fence, and right after he hopped the fence is when they let the lion go, and he ran directly past the lion, and the lion like was when was like it it made a beeline for him right as he saw him run past him. It was an overhead shot. Go back oh. and watch it. It was an overhead shot. And, um, he was running past as the lion. He ran past out, yeah. the lion, right, and then the lion just went right to him, and uh, done, <laughs> donezo. That guy was done, and then they shot the lion, you know. But I mean, I don't know, man. Uh, I I I don't know about you guys, but I enjoyed it. I mean, I oh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, we, we follow because we follow. You know, we follow along with Matt, and I don't know about you, but like I was feeling like what Matt was feeling. Like, of course, I'm not fanatic like him, but I was feeling like he he's got this purpose, and no, 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 we're gonna be back, we're gonna be back, we're gonna be back, and all these things go on, and it's like, damn, okay, well, now what? Now what do I think? Now what do I believe? And and I think you're right though. Maybe Jess said he, at the end he saw that and was like, you know what? You, no, we yeah, we're going back. But I just really enjoyed the fact that he was like, I'm dying. I'm, you know, it, it, it gets that what was guys really in. good on Chris Ruckelson's part. I really enjoyed you know yeah. his delivery of that. I'm dying. Yeah. It was just like yes. Okay. And then he says, and and then he was like, oh yeah, by the way, that's the guy I was talking to you, telling you about. <laughs> like I thought that was that was such a cool way to end it. You know, it by really way, was. Yeah. Uh, what did you guys think about the uh, the old uh, party boat there and, and and that whole situation? I will say before you guys say anything, I like that they didn't really. I mean, yeah, it was the whole part where they tie him down and stuff like that because he said the word. But I like that it wasn't like it wasn't necessarily in our face and 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 they were just kind of moving yeah, about the boat. Not like and, a certain Westworld's orgy like episode. Yeah, true, true. But I just like that they were. It was just a play on it was it was really just that obviously Matt's not into that kind of thing. So yeah. it was more look at look at how compelled he was to make his way through the boat to to try to contact um you know the captain after the guy's thrown off. It's Matt had his own purpose and his own way to get around this boat and everything else was secondary. Right. You know what I mean? So even though something as crazy as this lion orgy was going on it didn't sway him at all to, you know, stop what he was doing to try to confront this God person and yeah. do what he had to do. You know what I mean? Two things that really suck out to me. One was his joke. That I was know. Good. I keep thinking about that joke. I, I was thinking I, when he said that, he was like, what's the difference between a pimple and a priest? And I was like, the pimple waits until the boy's 12 to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he says, yeah. God damn. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, he's a priest. Hey, well, I got him on the ship. That was, was a, that, that t- was a, that was a really interesting scene too, because then Lori steps yeah. up and she's like a panda, and she's like, "No, not you, him." Yeah, I want to know what the panda includes. I know. I was like, I want to hear that joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, just uh, there was just some really good stuff, and then uh, also with Lori, what you guys think about how uh, how do you like that scene that went down where where she initially she tells him she slips up and says that she that uh, Kevin to- saw Evie, saw Evie, yeah, and yeah. he's like, "Who do you?" take me for she's like a good a good guy she's like yeah yeah i'm a good person he's like you're i like you're a good person too um and then he goes ahead and he fucking uses it against her like that was pretty crazy but then i love john's reaction when she's like i'm sorry i didn't tell you i was trying to protect you and he's like i wouldn't tell me either um and in the same scene he's like we need to go do something about this man and he says to john where the you know where's that where's that wrath he's like you used to burn people's house down for for doing shams like this yeah. And I was like, oh, my God. They just, like, they said it just out loud. Just open the floodgates, you know? yeah. yeah. And she's like, well, he found peace now. Like, I just talk about a character that's done, like, a complete 180, you know? It's like, I mean, again, we didn't really get too much of that. But I really enjoyed that dynamic between all of them, you know? Um, I mean, I guess we'll see. I mean, but by the look of John after he was told, it was kind of like, it was kind of like the, hmm, kind of look. You kind of got like a. 
I think that John said what he needed to say in front of a lawyer. Like, I wouldn't tell myself either. But I don't think that necessarily means that he doesn't believe that Kevin saw her. You know what I mean? So I think there is a, a piece of, of John that's like, oh, shit, maybe he really did see my daughter. But, you know, you know? but then, then what, you know, and then, but Lori's next line should have been, but I need to tell you, it really wasn't. It was, it was, it was a real person that was not Why her. didn't she show the picture? Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, why would you, like, if it was me or yeah. probably any, any one, three of us, we'd be like, no, 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 look, 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 you know? And like, I have it right here. It's right exactly. Here. Like, look. Well, maybe she was convinced that he, he doesn't care. You know, yeah, that John was just like, all right, you know. Um, either way, but, you know, next episode, it looks to be pretty much Lori centric, at least, because she's looks like she gets convinced that what they're doing is is something, you know, and a lot of stuff. It looks like a lot of stuff. I don't know if you guys seen the, the, the coming tracks for it, but no, it looks very Lori centric um, where she gets convinced, she, you know, in the, in the preview, she says, I want whatever this is. I want to be a part of it. Meaning she wants to, you know, and she has a black eye for some reason. I don't know. Someone punched Uh-oh. her. We'll find that yeah, out soon. But like Nora's in it. Like everyone's in it. I don't know. Maybe I didn't Nora. Kevin, maybe Nora. Maybe Nora. Who knows? But I mean, you know, this, this, so Ooh. what? Nora could have punched her for, you know, interfering in Kevin's life. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Yeah, of course. We never, I mean, yeah. I mean, I think the problem is, is that Nora's the only, no, I'm sorry. Lori right now is the only quote unquote grounded one, or so she thinks. Everybody no, else believes even Nora, you know, Nora may not believe that Kevin is what they say, but she does believe there's something special about him and she does and and but she's also living in her own fantastical world, you know, because she's living yeah. you know, she's missing her children and she wants to do something with that and she so she's yeah. chasing a ghost. They're all chasing ghosts and you know, Lori is the well, quote unquote I mean, grounded one. John there and Michael are the only two that really know that Kevin came back true. That witnessed it firsthand, yeah. John shot him, and then hours later, Kevin wakes up again, right. and John meets him again. Right. Not a coincidence. He should have died. Yeah. They yeah. even mentioned that. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. This is... I'm really... Interested. This is episode five, so we've only got three more. Yeah, I'm just really interested to see how this how this goes. Like again, this this episode is pretty cool. Um, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. You know what I mean? Yeah, there's yeah. all the three players, or four days left. They're and... all getting in place. And my wife, my wife again, still says, she's like, I guarantee you, they're gonna end this show like really just like dumb. Like it's just gonna be like a what? Like what is it even? I mean? hope not. I, yeah, I mean, I want so. I want answers, man. Like, I want some damn answers, you know? So I, I don't, don't know, know if we'll ever Honestly, really... Good. No, I, I don't know if we're necessarily going to get, like, all right, this is exactly why, this is the who did it, you know? I think that um, we're going to get some resolution. We're going to get, um, you know, we're going to get... Ant- See, it's hard to say. Are because... they going to leave it? Are they going to leave it where we still will never know what the departure was? I hope not. I, I hope it's not. Uh, that's something yeah. Like that. I yeah. take cryptic over that. Like, oh, uh, we've narrowed it down between God and the reactor, and looks like God won out. So there we go. Or you know, flat out tell us. I, I take cryptic or flat out over not telling us at all. <clears throat> what do you want more? Do you want to do? W- I want, we, I want Kevin's story to be resolved. That's what I'm saying. Do you I want to resolve Kevin's freaking... story, or do you want to resolve the overall underlying disappearance? I think we story? might. I think we might get. I think we might get answers to those kind of things from the mul- from multiple people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, get I mean? answers, of course. Um, like I want to see his story pan out good. Because, but if you could only I'm have one, what would it be? Attacking. Would it be the about the departure, like why that happened, or or Kevin's, Kevin's story. story? Kevin's story. Kevin's story. Yeah, I think Kevin's story too. But like, remember how we were talking about that one? Um, what was that? That one image that we saw last week of like theory of what was going on, and um, there was one that it, it seems like Kevin is being being. Um, it's he's like being a divi- guided. It's a he's divine being, path. Exactly. He's being guided, yeah, and he's being guided. He's getting yeah. rid of all the obstacles or things that yeah. would hold him back. I.e., so, Lori, it, Nora. It, 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 
It, if it is right. a religious thing, if that is the case because to where he's led before, God remember? purposely yeah. placed that girl on that TRL kind of a thing um, that looked like uh, Evie, just so he goes there so that John uh, Kevin Sr. sees him on, on TV. You know, on TV. So if we find out that it is um, like a religious thing, then I believe that it could be like a sparing thing, like only the the good shall shall live, and maybe yeah. Australia will be the only place left. Let me, uh, I got. Let me let me mention something, and this is going to probably be a little controversial, um, which is fine, but it's a it's a conversation. I think the one reason why I like this show, um, I I I don't belong to an organized religion. I'll say that out loud. Okay, I have my own beliefs and faiths. Okay, but what I like about this show is that this doesn't necessarily have to be a quote unquote religious thing because the word religious that's not it's we it's a loose terminology it's anymore. like it's like the word god like people take the word god and they think it means one very specific thing and being religious means one very specific thing but that those are not the origins or the true meanings of those words, but we've made them that. So my point is what I like about this show is that it's has, it really has nothing to do with religion. Do you understand? No, they play fast and loose with the words and I enjoy that. No, but it has, I mean, it has to do with the No, faith. no, no. People, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put this as, as succinctly as I possibly can. Mm. I'm trying to make this a complete thought. It's not, it, it could go either way, but it, I, I think what it's trying to do is show that it's not what you're believing in, what you're seeing on the screen, what you're feeling, what's happening to these people has really nothing to do with religion. It does, you know what I'm saying? No, it's it's no. all independent of being a religious thing. Because you know what's interesting is that we're only seeing this from America's point of view. We don't know what Zimbabwe or Greece or um or 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 I, whatever country wasn't you know, Zimbabwe well, that they were going to with the food? <laughs> <laughs> Might have been, but you know, or the Middle East, or it, or, or mm. Egypt. Like they, everybody has their own interpretation of what it is, and I think this, what it's trying to show you is that, and whatever the resolution is going to be, will really have no tie to a religion. So he says, well, no. He's saying, you know, you're like Jesus, you're like the Messiah. Person, but though, but that's be, what I'm saying. So that's a good word. A, that's a, that's a good word, divine, because. Because you have to, you got to have the ability to believe in a divine presence, a divine path, a divine uh, plan, you know, independent of Jesus and God. Well, look at, look and, at just the world know, that we know and, and all the, these different religions. What's the common denominator of all of them? The creator, right? But right, Even though, but, and they've made that they've made that creator a very specific thing for everyone else. How is well, your God saying share. to kill these people while this God is telling you someone else to kill your people? And you well, know what I'm saying? Us. Like everybody, that's humanity. That, that, right. That so that's my point. But, but, I, but like I said, though, it's the main cog is a, div a divine, a divine, creature, a, a divine. Creator. Yeah. Well, so regardless of what that but is, why does it have to be? An, why does it have to be a being though? Why can't it just be? energy why can't it just be it a force to... of course, not, you're not necessarily saying it's a it's a specific just something uh, divine out there is what yeah, 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 yeah something it could be energy it could be a beam of light we don't know god doesn't necessarily I mean, fucking have to aliens be... bro yeah well... so bringing it back to last week uh <laughs> we was talking about this picture this uh person on the subreddit for the leftovers they did an amazing job with the checker tiles and all that stuff yeah. really good picture uh, and part of it, he says, or or she, I don't know. The creator, anyways, yeah. The creator says, there we go. Uh, when he learns Evie was never there, Kevin is under or overwhelmed, unsure of who to trust. Kevin cuts Nora and Lori off, the two women who grounded him in his life. Then his two new spiritual guides, Ke uh, Kev the father and Mother Grace, show up. And... That guessing divine led me back to that because spiritual divine yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's exactly right, and 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 that's the thread that I that really gets me in this show. I just yeah. really enjoy the fact that and reading that, I think we were all meant to read that because 
Jesse, you found it. You posted it. And we were all like, I think we all got chills when we read that about him being guided. And, well, and then the next box after that says, as a reminder, this isn't the first time Kevin's been guided by forces. Right. That reminded us all of the previous seasons. Yeah. So it's just like, that's why I'm saying there's a bigger, it's, yeah. it's, tr- it's presenting something bigger, but it's not, it's not, it's not, hand, it's not spoon feeding it to us. And it's not slapping us in the face with it. Like, you know, like no, a regular network would, show know, would, you know, I think from the beginning of, you know, from, from the beginning of, uh, of this of the show from when I started because obviously you know we we all decided to do the show and Chris was telling us to check this out check this out check this out so right. me and Jesse obviously uh, by binge the crap know, out of it binging it within you know over a week you or got to so. see it like yeah got, as a full but, it, but it's like what are the what are those questions from the first episode that you get how and why and yeah. and 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 uh, what were the reasons for this to happen. And the next question was who, you know, who did this? Uh, You know, what did this? So we had that, we've been, we've been shooting this around in our brains for, you know, um, only a little time, like I said, for me and Jesse, but for the people that have been viewing and watching the show from the last couple of years, this is some, this is a question that's been on their mind from the beginning of what the fuck happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they did a really good job of, of, of that, especially in the first episode when you saw, you know, the dots being connected of, yeah. you know, Matt's car getting nailed. And that's why, um, you know, his wife, Mary, was in this comatose state because the car that hit him two seconds before now has no driver in it. Yeah. And the yeah. woman that has um, her baby screaming in the laundromat. You know what I mean? And all of a sudden she turns, she starts a car. We see the mother and then all of a sudden the crying stopped and the mother looks and the baby's gone out of this, you know. So they did such a great job of of giving that to us right off the bat, and 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 making the viewers like, what the fuck? Yeah, so yeah. you know, without going too too crazy into like a religious thing and a divine thing, let's just see what happens. And like you said, Chris, let's hope that we do get fulfillment from this finale. Yeah. You know what I mean? Regardless of what it is, um, if it is alien, which I hope it's not. Yeah, um, because you know, aliens, even if they they are uh, so so much uh, more advanced and and been around so much longer, it can travel interstellarly and all this kind of things. It's they're still flesh and blood. If we, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's that's the Poor difference plasma. between yeah. a divine creature, something that uh, caused the big bang and started this fucking incredible universe that we live in, compared to. Um, an alien that could have come just like we've come to Earth, yeah. and and they've they started. I off. hope they screw with everyone and go yeah. with the scientific resolution instead. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Hey, who knows? But uh, I'm uh, looking forward to it. We have three episodes left, then, and, and um, you know, I'm sure we'll get uh, we'll get some clarification. So two things: one, I hope that we find out in the beginning that the baby that disappeared didn't depart. It was actually just kidnapped, and they've screwed with us with that woman this whole time. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and two, uh, Mike didn't have as much time as I did, and what I did after each episode, I'd go to the subreddit uh, for leftovers, <laughs> and I'd go back in time to you know the discussion threads, which yeah, they lock yeah, after yeah, like yeah. a week, yeah. and I'd read through the discussion threads, and you really got to go to the subreddit. I feel now. To get, you know, the full gist of it. It should be a part of watching the show. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's a great show. It's it's, it's definitely great. Um, I, I've always said I think it's a commentary on humanity and how would we react. And, like, that guilty remnant would, I believe, would definitely be something that would happen, that would be created in a situation like that. You know what I mean? It's just, it's yeah. just, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's That's... a, it's a when, com- good for good or bad. It's a commentary on us as humans, and, exactly. and how we we react to things. Um, I, yeah. all right. I guess we should probably end this uh, discussion <laughs> here because I feel like we have we, we do have a lot more to say. But we, we do have three, on more, we do have three more <laughs> yeah. episodes, so we have plenty more time to talk about it. Um, yeah. What we do want is for you guys to tell us what you think, and if you guys find right. any other fan theories and stuff, whether it's on the on the subreddit. Or anywhere else on the internet, some memes or whatever. Uh, please share them with us. You can, you know, uh, you know, um, 
get, get you know put it on our, our socials or wherever or down in the comments but please share your comments let us know what you think about this it's a very thought-provoking thing and again don't mean to offend anybody so i apologize if i did offend anybody in your beliefs not my intention uh, again those are just you know a, a, a little look into what what i believe but just what i believe this show could be showing us so um, Absolutely. with that Mikey why don't you tell them how they can get to us on the socials of course well like you said check us out on all the social medias uh, you can check us out at third person pod obviously on YouTube and like Chris says write your comments below and your theories we, we'd really get into that because I can see a lot of cool stuff and cool theories yeah. that you guys would have right. about this about the show don't forget to contact us also on Facebook don't be shy we like to we always check that stuff that's out good place. that's and a good place to post things like that too exactly and Instagram we always like to uh, put up some cool pictures, some cool things about what we're doing with the show. And of course, don't forget about iTunes. Yep, definitely, definitely. And uh, as you can see down there, I've been I'm promoting this a little bit lately. Retrosquat.com, it's a, uh, it's, it's a new podcast that I do where we take um, random things from the 80s, like movies, TVs, video games, cartoons, and we, uh, we take two random ones and we mash them together and um, we see what we can get. So it's pretty fun. Check it out, Retrosquat.com. Yep, and as usual, comicblitz.com right down there below me. You put in the code third person pod, you get three bucks or three months of the subscription for three, for bucks. three, bucks, three bucks, buck a month. What can you ask for for unlimited comics? No, nope, nothing. The answer is nothing. Go get your comics exactly. and, and, <laughs> and enjoy it. It's free, so do it. So that Hold is going to do it for us here on this episode of Third Person, talking about leftovers, episode. I'm not going to say the whole title again, uh, but that's it, guys. Thank you once again for watching us. We really appreciate all the support, all the love that you guys give us, and we love seeing those comments down below, so please do it. And we will see you on the next Leftovers discussion. Thanks, guys. <laughs>